What's up, y'all? My name is Vegan Chris. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. TMZ is about to do a report on White Castle because they just added a vegan slider to their menu. Go White Castle. That's awesome. I told my brother eventually there will be a point where you won't be able to go to anywhere where they won't have vegan options. And that there's one less place now where you can't go and not get it. That's White Castle. The report is back. I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to give you guys some commentary. All right, let's check it out. I'll be right back. What's up, y'all? Yeah, okay, so I just watched the, the uh, article or the interview that TMZ did, and they actually had Ghostface on there. Okay, so if you don't know Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang is a rap group from, I guess, the late 90s, mid-90s mid 90s late 90s you know in um, one of the most popular rap groups ever one of the most influential rap groups ever Wu-Tang Clan and so Ghostface Killer just so happens to be my favorite rapper in the Wu-Tang Clan there's nine members but Ghostface is my favorite okay so he was at White Castle because White Castle just added the impossible burger to their menu so now you can go to White Castle and get an impossible burger slider which is dope which is awesome and there, there aren't any White Castles around here where I live but uh, if I do see one, I'm going to run right up in there. And it's just, I'm telling you, it's what I was telling my brother. I told him, I said, eventually, you won't be able to go somewhere and not find a vegan menu. Because that's the direction everything is going. Because information now is free. Where information used to cost a lot of money. It used to be very expensive to get the information that we have about where our food comes from. You know, I remember my aunt buying us a big Encyclopedia Britannica set so that we can, you know, do our research for homework and stuff like that and that was an expensive set you know without that you had to go to the library which cost money to go there I mean you know so information was expensive but now it's free it's on your phone you don't have to move you can sit right in your bed wherever you are and so um so now because that information is free and it's flowing a lot faster people are understanding more and more that you need to be vegan you don't have to read a whole book to understand that you that excuse me that we should be vegan now you can just you know watch a video or you know a, a quick 10 second 20 second clip on your phone and you can understand instantly hey I should go vegan once you see the torture and the suffering and you get all the information some of these short clips are really good and they're packed with just the right amount of information and just the right kind of information to help people understand what's going on so you know um, where before you had to read John Robbins diet for a new America <laughs> you know which is like this thick now you can just um, get it very easily so more and more places are offering vegan options and White Castle is awesome for doing that and so Ghostface was there helping promote the launch of the Impossible Burger on their menu and he mentioned that he's vegan himself and he mentioned that 90% of the Wu-Tang Clan is also vegan which doesn't really surprise me because this, this is a very conscious group of people and so I, I'm not surprised to find out that they decided to choose compassion over their taste buds I mean it makes perfect sense to me so I'm very proud of them Wu-Tang Clan is vegan that's awesome 90% of them I mean that's that's awesome that's fantastic so yes 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 I, you know and I was watching that interview just to see if they were gonna you know bash veganism or perpetuate any stereotypes and they didn't not one time so I'm very happy about the way that went down and um, you know um, the guy I guess his name is Van on TMZ asked Ghostface you know why do you think so many rappers are going vegan because there's a lot of rappers that are going vegan you know and people in the rap industry like Dame Dash and Styles P and you know people like that and uh, you know Ghostface said you know everybody's just trying to be healthy which is exactly what it is you're getting the information now that we didn't have before you know 20 years ago it was like hey you know you're gonna tell me I can't eat chicken that's ridiculous but now it's like no I understand I shouldn't be eating chicken I get it because I saw the video and I've seen what the hell or at least I heard about it from my friends who've seen it you know so um, yeah that was a great interview great job TMZ great job Wu-Tang Clan it's just one more group of people okay so for people like my brother who think that veganism is ridiculous and uh, you know we're supposed to eat meat and we get our strength from eating meat and it's the natural way to be and, and it's the natural order and it, it's the food chain and it's a personal choice for all these people just like him that feel that way okay 
because I know I'm not the only Wu-Tang Clan fan out there. So for all the people that feel like we're supposed to eat meat, but your favorite rappers are the Wu-Tang and they're going vegan, now you're going to have to reconcile that some way. Okay, and more and more of your favorite artists are going to be going vegan and you're going to have to figure out. And, and eventually it's going to get to you too. It's going to get to you too. All the people in your life and in your circle of influence and your and the people that you are a fan of, they're going to be going vegan. And eventually you're going to be like, you know what? Okay, fine. <laughs> you know? So um, it, it's going to happen. It's just the way it is. And I'm very happy to see that it happened with somebody as influential as the Wu-Tang Clan. So, my name is Vegan Chris. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Peace.